Ben Whiting with Paddle TV on another paddling adventure. This is day two in Dominica. It was pretty cloudy and rainy this morning, but the skies have cleared up. We've got plenty of time to make it there. Scott's head. So here we go. Paddle Tales is brought to you by Discover Dominica, Track Kayaks, NRS, Aquabound, Wiley X, and Outdoor Play. So it is day two here in Dominica, and yesterday afternoon we got crushed by some weather at the end of our first paddling trip, and it stayed all night. It dumped, it was pouring, and this morning pro looked pretty ominous. And so we hung out at the Jungle Bay Resort where we're staying, which is a pretty phenomenal place to have to hang out and wait for weather to pass. But it seems like we have a window. It's thick in the, the mountains, but it's clear on the coast. So we're gonna make a short little adventure. We're going out to Scott's Head, hike to the top, and from there we should be able to see, well, get a great view of the Soufriere area, and we'll be able to see right down the Martinique Channel. I'm joined once again by Wes and Perry from Soufriere Outdoor Center, and our track hikes are already built from yesterday's adventure, so it's time to really just get the rest of our gear on and go for a paddle. My name is Wes Moses and I'm the founder of the Soufriere Outdoor Center. Soufriere Outdoor Center is an ecotourism business and we specialize in sea kayaking and snorkeling. Wes and Carrie didn't just see it an opportunity to set up an outfitter business to provide experiences for tourists to see one of the most dramatic and fantastic places in the world. They really are doing this as well to involve the local community, to grow the local community, to help the community. We named the Soufriere Outdoor Center after Soufriere because we really wanted to represent the community and involve the community. And to that end, we've tried to make it as accessible. We didn't want this to be another ecotourism business or tourism business that was primarily for the tourists. I love the fact that Wes and Carrie are getting the local kids involved with paddling and teaching them to be the next generation of kayak guides here. And right out of the gate, I could feel their energy, their love of not just the water, but their discovery of kayaks as this vehicle to experience their backyard. Sea kayaks are different than sit on top kayaks. They're not designed to be super stable and hard to flip. They're designed for performance, but the trade off is that sea kayaks aren't that stable. And if you're not paying attention, you can find yourself upside down. Uh oh. I'm not sure what Freddie was doing. The water wasn't that rough, but that is the thing about sea kayaking. If you take your eye off the ball. Doesn't take too much to flip a sea kayak. Come hold on to my boat, yeah? Freddy swimming was actually a great thing to happen with everyone around because all those young paddlers got to see how Wes was gonna deal with this, how Wes and Freddy were gonna deal with the situation. And that's an important part of paddling in the sea is you have to know what to do in those types of situations because inevitably they are going to happen. You wanna do it that way? Alright. You good? Yeah. The really neat thing about Scott's head is it's like this wall and 
on our side of that wall is the Caribbean Sea and it's very sheltered. On the other side of that wall or that peninsula is the Atlantic. And so when you come around that corner, boom, all of a sudden you're in the Atlantic. The wind picks up, the waves pick up, everything picks up. Coming around Scott's head into the rougher Atlantic environment, it was interesting to see Freddie leading the charge right after he had just swum. For me, that was valuable insight into the kind of person Freddie is. He's game. He loves the water, he's comfortable in the water, and he just wants to play out there. Paddling in the unprotected waters around Scott's head was really a cool experience for the young guys. For most of them, this is the biggest water they've ever seen. And experiencing that, that's not something you can safely do very often, but doing that with uh, Wes, Carrie, and myself, having that experience there with them, it gave them the confidence to push themselves a little bit. And you could see it on their face. They were nervous, they were excited, they were just lapping it all up. Well, we've made it to the base of Scott's Head and man, you know one of the coolest things about sea kayaking is the perspectives you get from the water. And we were paddling close to that shoreline yesterday and I really didn't fully appreciate how stunning it is. I mean, now I can really see it and I'll bet you the view from up top is gonna be even cooler. So that's where we're going. Tell you what, Carrie, one of the things I'm loving so far is everything seems just pretty pure, pretty raw, even here. It's not like a highly developed tourism destination by any means. No, because uh, we always pride ourselves in making sure the island's natural aspect is still kept. And one of the ways that we can do that, and I've seen that we're doing this, is actually taking our time gradually. In terms of development, you don't want to rush things yeah. because when you do that and it's not done properly, you end up having... Uh, all sorts of other problems. All sorts of other problems, that's true. We focus mainly on nature. We focus on culture. These are the foundations for having a very sustainable way to to develop yep. uh, tourism on the island. An incredible day. You know, it's only, it was only a mini adventure. We couldn't leave until this afternoon, but what a cool adventure it's been. You know, the paddle is fantastic, and this viewpoint is ridiculous. It was really cool to actually spend some time on the water with the guys, with the, the young guys that Wes and Carrie are bringing up to be the next guides for uh, Super Air Outdoor Center. You know, I just love being around that energy and I'm sad that this little adventure is over. You know, I hope you guys have enjoyed this adventure. Subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already. Leave a comment and man, 
Start making some plans to come to Dominique because this place is ridiculous. And now with the Waitikabuli Sea Trail, what Wes and the Ministry of Tourism is doing, it's just making it easier for people that love kayaking to experience this. So stay tuned. We got lots more paddling adventures coming your way.